For many years, the skateboard industry has been releasing innovative products and introducing new materials to help push skateboarding into greater heights. However, there has been a downside to this progression because not all products have been innovative or using materials correctly to improve a product's functionality or longevity. Some brands are currently supplying products that are not what they appear to be and that could be deceiving and flat out lying. And that's false advertisement. What we're trying to point out here is that as a consumer you have to be careful not to get suckered into buying products because it uses a different material and they make special claims in their marketing. What we're about to show you are two products that are not what they claim to be on their packaging and on websites. What I've got here are lucky titanium bearings using solid titanium balls and a titanium axle truck using a titanium alloy blend cast hanger from the Thieve Titanium Truck Company. Before we take a closer look at these products, let's learn a little bit about titanium. Here we've got three 2-inch pieces of bar stock that include 4140 chromoly steel, 64 titanium, and 6061 aluminum. Titanium is roughly 35-40% to 40 lighter than chromoly steel like 4140 used for axles. Titanium can also be 35-40% to 40 heavier than aluminum. Titanium is lighter than steel, which can make it seem like a perfect replacement for steel axles. But titanium is not always stronger or possesses higher tensile or shear strengths than steel. So depending on the titanium and how it was treated will depend on if a truck axle will bend or not. I'm not saying that this particular axle in Thief trucks will bend, but it might depending on the titanium alloy and how it was treated compared to a standard steel axle that has been heat treated. The next thing to mention is how titanium is not magnetic. To be more accurate, it is paramagnetic, which means it has a very, very low magnetic susceptibility. So low that it's safe to say it's not magnetic. If we take a magnet, you can see how easily it is attracted to the steel axle in this truck. Let's take a look at the Thieve titanium axle. You can see that the magnet is totally not attracted to the titanium axle. I've also got a two inch long piece of titanium bar stock that just so happens to be the same titanium alloy as the axle, and you can see the titanium is not magnetic. Okay, so now that you know a few things about titanium, like how it's not magnetic and heavier than aluminum, let's compare this Thieve truck to some other trucks I've got here. On the Thieve website, they say that their hangers are a titanium alloy blend cast hanger. The standard metal used for trucks is an aluminum alloy, so why would Thieve use a heavier, more expensive titanium alloy for their trucks? It doesn't make any sense. If titanium is roughly 35 to 40 percent heavier, then this Thieve truck should be way heavier than this independent truck of a similar size, right? Well, let's put all these trucks on the scale and see the difference. Here you can see the independent truck is 375 grams and is about the same width as the Thieve truck, which weighs 335 grams. That's only about a 10 percent difference. Here's where things get interesting. This other independent truck is a little narrower and has a forged base plate, but weighs the exact same. And this Thunder truck, which is the same width with a steel axle, weighs just two grams more, and that's hardly anything. Even though Thieve has a lighter axle, they have a titanium alloy hanger, so we expected a heavier weight difference regardless. A bearing is about 12 grams and a bearing spacer is just one gram. So you can see the difference between Thieve trucks is very minimal. To get some answers, we took this truck to one of the finest testing laboratories in the nation with a very rigid quality control program to meet the requirements of federal and military specifications. They have worked with top industry giants such as Northrop Grumman, Raytheon, the US Navy, Boeing, NASA, GE, and a ton of aerospace companies. We took this truck to them for a chemical analysis and it turns out this truck is not a titanium alloy at all. There was only about one tenth of one percent titanium in this aluminum alloy. That's right, this is not a titanium alloy. It's the same 356 aluminum alloy that most trucks are made of. So that is absolute proof that Thieve is lying to consumers about what their products are actually made of. And that is false advertisement, if not just total fraud. Their brand name seems to fit the product quite nicely. Good choice. Oh, and if you're wondering what a blend is, well, there is no such thing as a blend. And just in case any of you want to argue that a blend exists, well, even a representative at Thieve admitted in an email that they used the word blend just for marketing. Here is the response to an email I got when questioning what a blend is. Just drop the blend word, man. It's just marketing. 
there you go! So, you never can be sure what you pay for because some of what you hear and read is just marketing hype or false advertising to fool you into buying a product that is not what it actually is. Now let's take a look at titanium bearings by the brand Lucky. The container clearly shows that these are their titanium set of bearings that they supply. So look here, it has the word titanium prominently under Lucky bearings and the first line in their description reads, solid titanium balls. So can we all agree that what I've got here should be bearings that have solid titanium balls inside? That's my impression. Well, let's take a closer look at the balls by taking one of the bearings apart. If these really are solid titanium balls, then the balls should not stick to the magnet. Well, holy sh! Look at that! The balls are magnetic. <laughs> Do you realize what this means? These aren't solid titanium balls at all. These aren't even a titanium alloy. They don't even have titanium in them. And how do I know? Well, if the magnet wasn't proof enough for everyone to see, we took another set of Lucky Titanium bearings we purchased online and had them tested by a very reputable analytical laboratory that has examined and tested moon rocks, electronics for satellites, rocket launchers, and does failure analysis for metals, composites, and plastic for many industries. They have a staff of PhD metallurgists and engineers that are experts in the fields of materials and metallurgical science and chemistry. They've got extremely high-tech equipment for an analysis. So we had an analysis performed using a scanning electron microscope, or SEM, that uses an electron gun that shoots a beam of electrons that interacted with the atoms of the ball bearing sample. We were able to find out what atoms are present with the electron detector inside. What we found out is that these, quote, solid titanium balls are in fact stainless steel. That means that Lucky Bearings distributed by Strange Bird Distribution Company is false advertising by not selling a product with solid titanium balls. We don't trust the skate industry to tell us the truth, so we question everything and never assume that brands are telling the truth, and we encourage you to do the same. If you're not already a subscriber, please click the button to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, we would really appreciate it. Please share this video so we can help everyone to be more aware of pop-out products that have gimmicks, lies, false information, marketing hype, and buzzwords. We would really love to hear your thoughts and feelings about the content in this video, so please leave a comment. If you have any questions about skate products, brands, maintenance, suggestions for future videos, or suspect that a product might be a gimmick or not what a brand claims it is, leave a comment or send us a message. Thanks for watching.